Hey guys, Kai Kai 301 here, and today I am going to be doing a death battle. Um, that is not how you do an int introduction, but honestly, I, I really don't know. I mean, I, I was thinking about this the other day, and um, it's never been done, and like a few amounts of people have actually thought of them fighting against each other. So here's a warning, since um, I'm. I can't animate and I have no experience with sprites and uh, animation and whatever I mean it may move to SFM if I you know start practicing that again but right now it's kind of no so what th there won't be any actual fighting there'll just be a bunch of facts and stuff and the winner will be declared after all the stuff is done so here you go, Cat Noir versus LT Dre. Let's get into this. Paris, France is often dubbed the city of love and has about 2 million people in it. Now, out of these 2 million, only 3 are chosen to hold the Miraculouses. The Miraculouses are ancient artifacts that uh, change the world's appearance and give them superpowers. Now, today we're going to be focusing on the black one, the cat miraculous. The, <sighs> the Kwame that inhabits the cat miraculous is called Plague. Plague? Uh, we're not focusing on him today, so let's keep going down. The current cat noir is called Adrian Agrest, and. Yeah, his life sucks. I mean, it doesn't and it does. He, uh, his father doesn't really give it much attention to him. And outside of his job, he really doesn't have anything. Now, his father is a uh, world-renowned fashion designer. And Adrian himself is a model. But um, his mother either left his life or she's dead. So that. Kind of depressing if you think about it. Gabriel is very possessive and he likes to control Adrian's life and uh, you know I kind of understand that and I, and I don't. I mean it, it, it's gotten to the point where Adrian really can't do anything. He has to like sneak out of his house to become Cat Noir and that, that's a really weird thing especially in his line of work. I mean I would have just told my dad and, and just you know going off with it and if he didn't you know accept it I'd still do it I mean Ladybug couldn't do it by herself you know I think this turned into a rant by accident <laughs> so let's keep going through this this part is uh made or well I uh copied and pasted from wiki the other parts weren't so let's go through this well in the ca the suit, Cat Noir has advanced skills such as speed, agility, and strength. He is almost invulnerable, like when he is able to take punishment from Guitar Villain's awesome solo, as well as being able to, as well as being slammed through a concrete wall against cars and on pavement without being injured or feeling great amounts of pain. Like actual cats, he has endured. He has enhanced senses like hearing, smell, and, and night vision. He's also extremely th st so we'll say stealthy. Extremely stealthy, being able to move around and fight without causing his bell to ring. Also, he has his most devastating attack, Cataclysm. And cue the clips of Cataclysm and work here, because you know. Now this part I actually wrote by myself, you know, gave me everything else. Every, everything else from here on out is written by me. That part I just did because you know, I didn't feel like paraphrasing. But let's, um... <clears throat> It rots and destroys anything it touches, and it pr and it's probably able to kill someone. I mean, could you imagine being killed by Cataclysm? I mean, if it rots metal the way it does, or the way I'm gonna show you on the screen, it, it like, it corrodes it. It like, I don't know, like advanced rusting or something. Honestly, if Cat Noir wins this, I'm gonna be surprised. I mean, I'm gonna think about it. I've, I've thought about it for two days, and uh, I'm gonna have to speed up my decision by the time I'm done. So, can he win? Or can can he lose? I mean, he can lose. Everyone. Can lose, but yeah, but can he win this fight against uh, probably one of the most 
Nah, what, what? Now, this joke was written by me. <clears throat> Miracle. Miracle City, a cesspool of crime and villainy, is the home of El Tigre. Yeah, okay, that's, <laughs> that sounded weird. Um, did I, I actually wrote that down. Like, I'm not kidding. I, I seriously wrote that down. Alright. Not decided to be on one side for long. Manny Rivera is a person that has the El Tigre belt and he is like 13 years old and it's probably one of the only superheroes that has both of his biological parents which is kind of sad if you think about it like it's, it's, it's really really sad he has the attitude of a hero sometimes and when he doesn't he just does whatever he wants honestly I mean who's going to stop him I mean, sure, he takes a lot of pain. Just like Cat Noir, you know, not the guy over there. I mean, they pretty much have this, almost the same powers. I mean, could the ancient tiger spirit be Plague? Hold on, I need to write that out. But, no. I mean, that is a fun theory. I might, might do a video on that. Huh, just gave myself an idea. Okay, um, doing bad things is fun. And sometimes can get into his head. Despite having supernatural abilities, Manny doesn't seem to care whether he's too strong or not. In most cases, he's not strong enough. But, um, while he's saved dozens of lives, he's, uh, he's made people's lives worse, you know. Same times as much, like, uh, saved 12 people. He made, a he, let's say, he ruined 12 other people's days, you know. Also, thing that I forgot about Cat Noir is that since nobody knows his identity, he has to make up excuses and stuff. And I should just put this where Cat Noir is, but this is just like one big long recording that I'm just going to uh, edit and stuff. So I don't feel like doing that. I'm sorry, but maybe the next one will be in, and I'll tell you what which what the next one is. I already have the picture up and stuff, and I can write the script for that next week. But like I said, many people know Manny's secret identity, and he doesn't really have to have an excuse to go and save the day because everyone already knows. I mean, what's the point? You know, making up an excuse when everyone knows what you're doing at pretty much all times. I mean, I, it's at home they don't, but you know, still. Sorry. <laughs> As for his powers, um, El Tigre himself, not Manny. Well, I mean, sure, Manny, of course, but you know, it. You know, let me let me just say what I wrote down. <clears throat> El Tigre himself has access to a variety of powers not not explored yet. He can scale buildings with his grappling claws and use them to make a tornado. Well, Manny does not have as much experience as El Tigre the first. You know, the guy that sent them back up, um, since all the Riveras back up to the surface made them live for like what? Let me say like two hours tops. That was that was a really fun episode, by the way. I'm probably gonna use that to uh, for these clips for him and his powers. While Manny does not have as much as much experience as El Tigre the first, they can both access the Ancient Tiger Spirit, a form that had that mimics his movements and makes the wielder many times more powerful. Well, it does not seem to have a cooldown. I imagine me personally. That you can't just start uh, using it all the time. Uh, you can't abuse it. Because it'll probably, you know, wear out on him. As it did in the episode where, you know, he fell. And uh, looked like he was beat up and stuff. I mean, that could be just him going into, into Sartana's thing and stuff. Because I'd imagine he would have got beat a lot in there. And then the Tiger Spirit did his thing. But <clears throat> now, there are, there are a bunch of similarities between them. The obvious part of them being uh, both cat-like. And both of their powers being green, which I, which I thought was like really cool, and that that's honestly what made me do this because I saw that and I was like, I have to do something about this, and thought about death battle, and I was like, okay, I can try to make this, you know, without the fighting and all that, but I can do the facts, and so far I think I've been doing the facts pretty well, but I'm gonna cut a lot of the stuff out so you all know how, uh, how bad I can speak into this mic. <clears throat> the winner is going to be Cat Noir. Now, I'm sure 
that the ancient tiger spirit would be able to do something to Cat Noir, but think about this. In the episode that I'm going to put up right here, I believe Cataclysm fought off that uh, guitar villain's beams of stuff. And Akumas have done much worse by themselves than uh, any, well not any villain, but most of the villains in the show and what man himself can do. Now I imagine if he does access the ancient tiger spirit, it'd be the same exact thing as Cataclysm. So they go head on to each other, Adrian hits him or Cat Noir hits him and you know, explosions happen and Manny is dead. That's really it. I mean, <laughs> what else would he be? You, you've seen what Cataclysm can do to buildings, just imagine what it could do to a person. And I do not have my pop filter up, so maybe when I said person, it was like, PERSON, you know? But, um, I mean, I have it, and I have it, I've been having it for, like, most of the video, like, uh, like, here in front of me, because the latch broken, I can't hold up to the, and I can't put it on the stand. But, um, yeah, I mean, that, that's really it. Cat Noir would win, honestly. And... I'm sorry if you thought LTV was going to win. Maybe I'll do this later when I have more experience doing this. Because I'm thinking of making this into a series. I don't know. But. The next one that I'm doing. Should be quite easy. I think, And it should be easier to research. Because I know a lot about TF2. And you should already know who's going for here. Well it's not Scout vs. Tracer. Or uh, Heavy vs. Zarya. Or Medic vs. Mercy. It is Spy vs. Sombra. <laughs> Oh man, I've already made the, uh, the thumbnail for it, so be ready for that in about next week, hopefully, if I can do it, if I can record, you know, so, uh, finally, when I edit this, it's gonna be so, so long, and I'll see you guys. Bailey, Adrian, take a look at that school. Yes, father. You will never, I say never, go back there again. Father, Without no. your bodyguard. He will drop you off and pick you up every day. Natalie has offered to organize your new schedule. You'll be continuing your music, Chinese, and fencing classes, and your photo shoots. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, Father. 